Okay, so there's been some people out there that have been very interested about the GoPro Hero 11 and it's 10-bit. Is it really a 10-bit file? So let's take a look at this video. Now this was shot on the GoPro Hero 11 Black 5.3K with 10-bit on. And I was messing with it just to see how much I can mess with the colors on it. I'm going to stop the video now. But there's a program that you can get. It's called MediaArea.net. Media Info. So basically what it will do, it will look at a video file, which this is the 11 right here. And it will look at this video file, 1.59 gigabytes, and it will give you all the information about it. So when it comes to 10-bit video, everybody knows that if you're going to have a chroma sample of 422 10-bit, that is the optimum 10-bit to have. Now, 420, I'm not saying that it's bad, but it's not the ultimate to have. So with this MediaArea.net, Media Info uh, browser, you can l actually look at the video file information. So it's recorded in format of MPEG-4. Uh, let's see, 1.6 gigabytes, duration 1 minute, 554 seconds, overall bit rate 120 megabytes per second or megabits per second. Uh, high efficiency codec, HEVC is the way that it was recorded. So here's the thing to take a look at. So you've got your bit rate, you've got your pixel width and the height. And this right here, color space, YUV, chroma subsampling is 420. It's bit depth, it is a 10 bit video. So the color depth or bit depth of the color is 10 bit. So 1.07 billion colors, but the chroma sampling is at 420. So for those of you out there that have been really curious, number one, does the GoPro Hero 11 black, does it really record in 10 bit versus 8 bit? And what type of chroma sampling does it record in? Yes, it records in 420. So if you're interested in this type of uh, program, like I said, it's called Media Info. You can go to MediaArea.net to download this. It's a free download. Uh, I may put it in the link in the description so that you guys can take a look at it for yourself. But it gives you a lot of different parameters. It tells you about the audio file. But very, very nice little program to be able to look at. Is a video 10-bit or not? So hopefully for the viewers out there that have been interested about 10-bit in the GoPro Hero 11, is it really 10-bit and what type of chroma sampling are they doing with it? This is what they're doing with it. Now, if they release an update and something changes, I will definitely update or do an update video just to let you know. Uh, but I'm very curious to see what the DJI Action 3, when first off, when I get it, and number two is when it arrives when I get the update to go to 10-bit, will they also do chroma sampling in 420 or will they do a 422 10-bit? Really interesting. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hey, consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next review. Bye-bye.